So this video is for anyone who is a teenager up until your mid-twenties. Just because you are busy studying for exams, getting assignments done, trying to get great grades, doesn't mean you need to neglect your finances. In fact, quite the contrary. If you can invest just a little bit of time and energy into your finances right now, I promise you, you will never regret it and you'll be laughing in the future. These are really easy things, simple things that you can do right now today that will immediately make you feel good about yourself and feel excited about your financial future. Step number one is to live within your means. Do not spend money you do not have. It's very simple. Have a budget. Write down all your living expenses and the money that you've got coming in. Understand what are your needs versus what are your wants. Make sure you respect and honor your financial responsibilities first. Understand the consequences of not respecting those financial responsibilities. That will help you put things back into perspective again. And that want for a new handbag will fall to the bottom of the list because you feel good about being responsible with your money and stepping up to the bar. Now doing a budget takes practice, but make sure once you've done it, you review it on a regular basis so that as new expenses creep in, you're on top of it and you decide whether it stays or whether it goes. Ideally, if possible, learn to live off cash or an ATM debit card rather than a credit card. Card. Have you have a credit card? Make sure you're one of those great people who pays their credit card off in full each month and feel proud about doing that. Tip number two is to have financial goals. It is so important that you have financial goals because it gives you a sense of purpose and direction and also helps minimize those directions. Now, financial goals can range from a variety of different things and it's about what inspires and makes you feel alive and awake. So they could be goals about paying off your debt, which includes your student debt. They could be goals about building up emergency savings so that you can sleep well at night knowing that if something happens, you've got enough money to help get you out of any or most disastrous situations. It might even be savings is going to be your reward for when you finish studying. Also have financial goals about investing. Have financial goals about building up passive income and even have goals about planning your retirement. Remember, when you have something, a set a goal for yourself, it gives you a great sense of focus, determination and direction. Tip number three is actually continuing on from retirement saving. Make sure you spend the time today to set up your retirement savings accounts. Whether it be superannuation, 401k plans, pension accounts or RSA accounts, wherever you live in the world, make sure you invest the time right now to set these accounts up properly. But ideally, you should have one account because that then minimizes your fees. Secondly, you want to make sure that this money is invested appropriately, appropriate to your risk profile. Generally speaking, the longer the time that you've got to invest, thinking that most retirement saving accounts are normally a 40 year period, the more risk you should take. So take that into consideration when you're picking the investments that go within your retirement savings account or superannuation accounts or 401k plans. Because this is like in your investment portfolio, it's just locked away for your benefit for the future. Also make sure that you check these accounts on a regular basis. Make sure your employer is putting the right amounts into your account. Make sure you are adding money to it if and when you want to. And also understand how much money you need at the end of the day to be able to retire with the lifestyle that you want and when you want. Get engaged with your retirement goals. Tip number four is to start investing. Just because you're a student and you're thinking, oh, that's fine, I'll just wait and start investing when I have a salary, that's actually not the case. You can easily start investing today and you can invest with as little as $1,000. In fact, if you were to take $1,000 today and invest it, and then every year you just simply added $1,000 each year for 40 years and always reinvested the interest or the income from this for compounding growth opportunities, by the time you're at, say, 60 in 40 years' time, you would have over $214,000 invested. Now, that means you've only, of your own money, actually invested $40,000. But because of the value and benefit of compounding interest over the long run, you've actually, your money's actually worked for you and you've actually earned $173,000. And that's by not physically doing anything. That's getting your money to work for you. So if you're in a position where you have a spare $1,000 and you think you could possibly add $1,000 a year to that investment portfolio, do it today. Now remember, that $1,000 a year isn't that much. Break it that up over on a weekly basis or a fortnightly basis and a monthly basis. It's less than $100 a month. It's, you could get rid of a coffees, you could maybe have a quiet weekend once a month. There are lots of different things you can do to come up with that $1,000. And don't forget, you can always do the $1,000 project if that's what you'd like to do. And then tip number five is to educate yourself. 
find out what is out there to help you get on top of your finances. There are so many amazing websites available. Also, there's a lot of government help. Do your research. Find out what government grants exist. Find out what rebates exist. Find out what tax deductions are available to you. Did you know, for example, in Australia, we have this thing called the co-contribution. If you are earning less than $51,800 a year, you may be entitled to up to $500 co-contribution from our government. All you need to do is put $1,000 into your superannuation account and the government will give you a bonus $500 that goes also into that superannuation account. All these little things really do add up over the long run. Imagine if you could do this plus step four of investing $1,000 and $1,000 every year. You will be laughing and I guess I said you will never regret doing these really simple basic things today that will pay off over the long run. So if you're a student watching this video and you're starting to realize actually there are lots of things you can do with your finances today, I dare you, I challenge you to go and actually do it and let me know what you do because I'd love to hear from you. And also I'd love to hear it about how it makes you feel because when we step up and take control of our finances, it feels great and we realize how powerful and capable we really are.